Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Tushar's birthday party, part two. Part one of the video, we talked about the main idea and ran through an algorithm to solve the problem. And in this video, we will code up the solution, discuss runtime and space complexity, and submit the solution. If you haven't checked out part one for those details, please check out part one. And once you're finished, you can come back here to continue. All right, so one of the first things, let me get clear up this for some room. We initialize DP array with all zeros. We're done setting zero and we'll multiply a thousand and one that way the first index can be one and the thousandth index will be a thousand now a b c is kind of confusing but we can call rename these call friends equal to a capacity of the dishes equal to b and then the cost of each dish equal to c now we have here where we have to iterate through each index of dp So we'll go for i in range 1 through the length of dp. The reason why we use 1 instead of 0 is that there's no dish that costs 0 because of our constraints. So there's no purpose to uh, check that. And then we call, we'll iterate through the capacity of dishes. And as you can see in line 19 through 21, we have dish index. We'll call those dish indices, we'll call it dish index in the range of capacity. And we each need the curve cap and the curve cost. Curve cap tells us the capacity for the current dish and the curve cost will tell us the cost to consume that dish. Right now, this section, we are solving part one, or we're writing the code for part one. So let's put that here, and part two will come later. And then we said each indice, we want to perform these operations the cases so we have a case where if the dp if not initialize that's why we have zero where zero indicates that we have not initialized the value and then we have a case where the index index in dp equals the current capacity and in that case, we will set the current cost equal to dp of i. So this is the case where index equals 2 and current cap equals 2. So it can consume this dish to reach this capacity. But if we already, if it does not equal, we check using current dish and look to see if we can add it to a combination. So example would be if I equals three and cur cap equals two, then DP of three equals dp of 3 minus 2, which is dp of 1. So we look at the minimum cost to have capacity 1, and we add it with the current cost, meaning we check this combination. And since it's not initialized, we know that this will be the smallest. So we set it here, line 29. Now the other case is that if we have, if we have a dp of i that is not equal to zero. It means we have 
set the value already. And so we check if i minus curl cap is greater than or equal to zero because we wanna want to ensure that removing the we want to make sure that the DP we check is within bounds. And the reason why we have minimum is that DP of I it has a non-zero value. And so it could have the minimum cost or a smaller cost than the cost that would be created by the current dish. And so we have to, that's why we need DP of I as part of the input for minimum. And the other part is to use the current dish. So if we use the current dish, we need to see if we didn't use this current dish, what the minimum cost would be. And then we add it to the cost of actually using this current dish. So that's what that minimum is all about. So once we finish that, we're now on part two, which is we iterate through our array of friends and we will add the minimum cost. So we say the minimum cost is zero, and then we iterate through all our friends, where our friends have the capacity that each friend needs to have to be satisfied. And we get it from DP of J, and we know that the DP we've built up for all possible capacities because the constraint is that the capacities are between one and 1,000. And then lastly, we return the min cost. So let's look through the code to make sure that everything is fine and dandy. So we say friends equals A, Class equals B, cost equals C. That looks good. Then we make the DP of 1,000, and then we iterate through the index of DP, one through the length of DP, and then dish index in range length of capacity. Curve cap, capacity, dish index, curve cost, cost of dish, DP of I equals zero. It's not initialized, then we check if the curve cap is equal to i, and we set it to the curve cost. And then else, elif, the i is minus cap is greater than or equal to zero, with it's in bounds, then we see the combination without the current cost. And then if we add it, use the dish, then we have to add the current cost. And similarly, the else case is the same exact thing as that, except we have the minimum with dp of i and then min cost zero. OK, let's test this to see if it works. All right, so we have indentation error on line nine. Oh, OK, I see. So everything should be indented from further. Curve cap up. Oh. Right, so I didn't have the colons for the if statements. Let's see. Let's for type int and tuple line thirty three. So length thirty three. Int and two. Oh, okay, so it must mean that DP of I minus capacity. Oh, okay, whoops. It's not a capacity, it's curve cap. Because capacity is an array, so Okay, so it looks like it's the correct answer. And try submitting. Taking some time to check. Well, anyways, in the meantime, we can see our, let me scroll up a little bit and I'll come back. Yeah, so the runtime is, let's say the input is n. We have n 
for the number of dishes that we have. Oh, okay, so now it looks like it worked, so that's good. Yeah, so each time we will go through about the iterate the array a thousand times. And for each of those, we have to iterate the capacities of all the dishes. And so to do that, because it's always the DP array is always a thousand, it will be constant. So we have a constant and we multiply it by n where n is number of dishes that we have. So we have O of C times N. And then we have to iterate through the friends. And so iterating through friends will be M where M is number of friends. Yeah, so our runtime, well, depending on which one's larger, if m is larger than n, well, let's see, m has to be larger than n because does m have to be like, you need more friends than dishes. Actually, yeah, so it really depends on which one's bigger. You can have either case n can be bigger than m and m can be bigger than n. So it's O of c times n plus m in the end for runtime. And then the space complexity is constant because we just have uh, an, a DP array of 1,000. So that wraps up this problem. I hope that you guys learned something and also had fun. And uh, follow me on social media if you want to see updates on any other videos. And yeah, hope you guys all Enjoy the rest of your day.